Nick, the concept of using capital gains exemption yeah. for when you're selling a qualified small business is very attractive to Canadians and, and using their family members to, to really save on, on taxes for the whole family. With this proposed legislation that Finance Minister Bill Morneau announced last week, what is going to be the effect today? Well, also starting in 2018, um, that reward that came out, uh, the, the, this decision goes back to the 1980s, if I recall. It was a reward for entrepreneurs to build their business and sell it. They were getting a capital gains exemption. Um, and you were allowed if you, for every shareholder of your company to uh, enjoy that benefit. Uh, well, now, starting in 2018, using the same rules and the same thought process with the previous question you asked, Josh, on income sprinkling, the government is basically saying if your family is not involved in your business or is not ev in evolved enough in your business, we won't let them have the capital gains exemption. Only you can as the founder and driver of the business. Now, what would that cost the average Canadian business owner? Well, the, you take a family of four, um, if they have a successful business and they're able to sell it, and there's a lot of rules that you have to meet to even get there in step one, but for a family of four uh, who's selling the business for in the millions of dollars, they're going to be looking at a tax cost of $660,000 for that family of four.